I received a request from the Slavic part of the world. I cannot pronounce the name because I don't know the alphabet. But the request was for how to play Bring It On Home to Me. Sam Cooke wrote this. Uh, the Animals had a hit of it in 1965 in the thick of the British invasion. This is a, a really bluesy type of a piece with not a lot of chords, but there's so much you can do with these chords, and there are a lot of little licks. Uh, that is a little musical uh, groups of notes and things of that sort that are worth noting because they're very common in this type of blues. Uh, the uh, person who asked for this asked for the, the, uh, the notes, but like so much of my stuff, I am following chords and lyrics. I do have the introduction written out. And now what we have here is we have just a couple of basic things, but you'll see elaborations on a lot of it. First of all, you've got a G major chord. Okay, now just remember when you say G major, you're talking G, B, and D. Could be anywhere on the piano. So you can play. has a very distinct sound. Then you go to D major. D, F sharp, and A. So you've got something like this. Okay. Then we have what we call a G7, where we take a G major chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We add the F to it. So we'll throw in the D7. There's the D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the D7 is like this. Or that. Or that. I could take the D out of it and put it in the bass. Play octaves in the bass. Something like that. All I'm doing is I'm just rearranging these notes. And then we have a D6, and then that's the whole piece. So we have a one, two, three, um, I mean, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the D6 is a D major chord with a B in it. And again, you can turn it around. That may not be easy to see it like this, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop for a moment, and you might just want to write this down. G major is any combination of G, B, and D. You can play it in any order, any way, but it's going to be those three notes. D major will be any combination of D, F sharp, and A. The G7 will be your G. We'll add the 7. And again, you, know, you can put that 7 on the bottom if you want to. And in this song, I will take the G out down here. But it's still G, B, D, F. G, B, D, F. Then we've got the D7. Well, here was our D. And there was our D7. Or we could put it like that. Or, again, it's D, F sharp, A, C. And I could do D, F sharp, A, C. Just turning them around. Chords are like words in music. The only difference is in music, you can change the letters in, of the order of the notes, and it will still be the same thing. For example, in English, you have the letters A, C, and T. Well, A, C, and T is act. C, A, T is cat. T, A, C is tack. 
they all have three different meanings. But it's not true with chords. You have these three notes, or these three notes, or these three notes, or even four notes. And you can mix up their order and it's still the same chord. And that's uh, pretty much it. Now, what we've got here is in the introduction, we outline the G chord. chords are written in the introduction but the rest of it when the words come in it's just all written out as the chords that I showed you so here's the introduction G. classicsongspianobar.com and there's a song arrangements page this will be posted on it shortly so you'll have the words and you'll have the chords written above it now there's just a few little things here I'm gonna go back I'm gonna skip the intro that's pretty obvious go back to the very beginning and that's gonna start sound like the intro until you get bring it on home to me but I'm gonna start the beginning of the verse. If you ever change your mind to the bring it to me oh bring it to me basic idea is you go bring it on to me G D6 bring the sweet love of C D7 bring it on home to me G C oh yeah G but now if you use passing tones you play the chords then this won't look too different it'll just be more active bring it to me showing you some things you can do but now just as an example of exactly how I would play it and this is where you can put it on half speed or whatever you want to do this is precisely how I would play it 
If you ever change your mind about leaving, leaving me behind, oh, pray let you be in your sweet love, bring it all home to me, oh, yeah. Okay. Now you get into some elaboration, same chords, same structure, but they go, you know I laughed when you left, you know I laughed when you left, but they elaborate a little bit, you know I laughed. Possibility, and then I'm going to go to the G7. That's a really great voice, and I like the way it's spread out. And then there's your C, there's your G. Now, watch this. You could do that. That's a little schmaltzy. So, that's that. You know I laughed when you left is just a little extra. But what I do is, instead of just playing that for G, that for D, that for G7, that for C, I'll do something like, you know I laughed. on chords. They're still playing the same chords. I'm restricted. When I see a G, I have to play a G, D, D somewhere. I might do that to it, but I have to have that. If I have the D, I might do that. But I have to have the D. If I have the G7, I could do it like that. Do that. Now the G7, you do have an F. That's just an exception. And then C, you could do Sometimes you gotta experiment and see what works for you. There's your G. Bring it to me. I just connected them to that D. Bring it to me, love it. Now, the animals do do this. just for the heck of it. I'll give you two somewhere in there and you can just kind of play around with it. You can look exactly with what I'm doing and just kind of steal them because it's the public domain. It's 
It's very widely used. Nothing that I've made up. It's just very common in the blues. Now, you get to the interlude and it follows the same chords as the verse. And it's like this. simple G under it. And then a D. See how it ends up landing on the same note as one of the chord tones? It makes it stable. Okay, well, 
that's it. That's the song. And that's all I had to do with all my tutorials. You don't have to, you can stop here if you want, whatever you want to do. But I like to just go ahead and play through it. Now, you might see some slight alterations, but they're going to all be within the chord. And you might see some little things that you like that you might want to uh, also add to your list of what we call musical motifs. Uh, motifs, mo like word in French, um, a word, a little statement. <clears throat> and you might catch me making a mistake. But the important thing when you play is to play through your mistakes. Make the listener think that they heard one and then question themselves because you keep going and you don't break the time. It's a strategy of performance. So here we go. song by Sam Cooke, recorded and popularized by the animals in 1965, a long time ago, but during the height of the British invasion, which was the beginning of a revolution in popular music. Hope you enjoyed that and got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, you can always contact me. Take care.